Now to lessons learned in a drought. You may have heard about Jacob's Well going dry for the first time. The popular watering hole tied to the Trinity Aquifer was being over pumped by a Hayes County water utility. The question is, could that happen here? Legal protections exclusive to the Edwards Aquifer are saving our drinking water. The Edwards Aquifer Authority, which regulates the aquifer, tells the night team's Camilla Juarez about the Hill Country's culture of stewardship. The last historic drought in the 1950s caused the Comal Springs to stop flowing for nearly five months. In the late 80s, there was a growing concern that the Edwards Aquifer would not be able to serve the rapidly growing San Antonio area. That's when the Edwards Aquifer Authority Act was codified to make sure everyone could get the water they need. Although levels are low, spring flows are low, uh, but they're continuing to flow. And so all we're doing is using these tools to manage through the drought to get us to the next rainy season. Today, people who have permits to pump from the Edwards Aquifer could soon be asked to enter the most stringent conservation efforts. Currently, we're in stage four, which is a 40% annual reduction. The Edwards Aquifer Authority says it expects to enter stage five for the first time, which means permit holders will be asked to cut back even more. We're kind of teetering between stage four and stage five, so things are, uh, not looking, you know, great, but it could be much worse if these, these programs were not in place. Unlike any other groundwater conservation district, there is a legal cap on how much water can be pumped out of the Edwards Aquifer. Based on last year's data, permit holders did not use all the water they were allotted, despite experiencing stage four restrictions like we are now. We didn't get close to the cap the reduced cap as a result of the cutbacks, there was actually about 76,000 acre feet of water that could have been used that didn't get used. San Antonio Water System has the most permits to pump from the aquifer, but it has never exceeded their limit. SAWS so attributes that to diversifying their water resources through desalination, water tanks, and pumping from other bodies of water like Canyon Lake. During drought periods, we absolutely need all those different sources um, so that you're not completely reliant on one source that may or may not be there in a particular year. The Edwards Aquifer Authority Act not only protects the water we all drink, but endangered species like this one, the Texas blind salamander. Ruiz says that the legal protections from the Edwards Aquifer Authority Act created a culture of sustainability. We just have this tremendous awareness and, and this, this stewardship sense about us that I think speaks well to uh, the work of the mission of the Edwards Aquifer Authority and how that has kind of helped promulgate this conservation. Camilla Juarez, KSA 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.